December 22, 2024, around 5 o'clock in the evening. It's been very cold. Last night it went down to 10 degrees, only went up to 19 this afternoon, and now it's down to 14 and falling pretty rapidly. In the studio, it is 73 degrees. Why this is not focusing all of a sudden? I've had the heat pump on since yesterday afternoon. It did get down to about 66 degrees in here last night. And then when the sun came out and was shining on the evaporator, it uh, threw off a lot more heat this afternoon. And plus I've had all the lights on in here and I've been working around in here so some body heat was thrown into the room. Quite frankly, I think this is actually a pretty respectable performance because there's nothing keeping the heat in here. It can just go right over there and up the stairs or into the rest of the room uh, on the other side. So the fact that it's keeping this as warm as it is is surprising. I was not expecting this to work as well as it is. Right now it's putting out about... I mean this is not the best way to measure it, but approximately 116 is the highest I saw. Not super hot, but it's a decent volume of air and it's certainly considerably warmer than ambient. I have it set to 72 and it's 73, so as of now it's still holding the temperature. We'll see how much longer uh, into the night it can hold. These are fairly new windows and the wall is, is solid concrete. It's probably maybe 60 degrees. Well, we can check it. Huh, 58, that was pretty accurate. Um, so it's fairly well insulated. You know, concrete does stop a lot of the wind and it's a decent insulator. On the other side, it's 67 degrees and allegedly rising. So some of that heat from the other side must be coming over here. Perhaps some heat from the boiler too is escaping into the room. I had to wash some clothes earlier today and some towels. So I was using the clothes dryer. Now we're going to go back to the garage heater. about the uh, temperature thing to measure what the air coming out of there is. Yesterday the snow, most of it's melted now, but there was a, a line of solid snow in front of the machine where it wasn't melting because the air coming out was so much colder than the ambient. Alright, in the garage, since I had to turn the, the, the uh, I needed to use the 220 for the clothes dryer, I just turned on a little 120 heater for the time being and it definitely dropped a little bit in here but oh actually it didn't drop much at all it was uh, 59 when I turned the 220 heater off so it only went down a couple degrees I've been doing laundry since like 1 o'clock 1 or 2 o'clock I, I think I ran 3 or 4 loads yeah I ran 4 loads in the dryer so probably about four hours of uh, just a small 120 volt heater and I only lost a couple degrees in here so that's pretty good a decent little heater and uh, I think all the work I did on the door and everything in here to, to make it airtight definitely made a huge difference so now we'll go back to this one So this one is allegedly 14,000 BTU, I think. And this one is, I guess, around 5. Yeah, it doesn't... And this heater works very well. It definitely throws off more heat than the other one does, but... I don't know. 
I don't feel like it's all that much stronger. I guess the difference with this is the, the surface area of this is very large. This has been a good heater. I like this heater. Yeah, it is definitely throwing off more heat. It just takes a minute to get going. Well, let's see if this can bring it up. I don't know. If it's not windy, it might be able to, but it's really windy. I don't know. That's 54 at around 5 o'clock. We'll have no problem heating the living room because we've got the wood, wood stove in there plus the Christmas tree, so that's plenty of heat. The rest of the house should be fine. Well, I'll check back before I go to sleep and we'll see what the temperature has gone down to. I think it's only supposed to go down to about 10 or 12 tonight, but if it's already 14, I have a feeling it's going to go down considerably more than that. The sun just set less than a half an hour ago. It's just after 10 o'clock now, and we're down to only 9 degrees. The weather forecast suggests it can go down as low as 3 degrees tonight. It's currently 59 degrees here in the garage up from 54 a couple hours ago when I restarted this heater. It definitely does output a considerably more heat. A considerably more heat? Okay. It definitely outputs considerably more heat than that other one, which makes sense because that's only a 120 volt, 1500 watts. This is a 220, I believe it's a 4000 watt. Or maybe three I don't remember but it's it's pretty powerful and uh, it works good a lot of times when I come in here when it's 30 or 40 degrees out it's satisfied it's not even running I don't think it runs too much until we get down to like 20 you know 20 degrees high 30s and this is unusually cold I would say a typical low temperature around here this time of year is high 20s mid to high 20s at night would be, would be a cold winter night. This is unusual, 9 degrees. But this is working good, it's staying pretty warm in here. I think this is a good testament to how valuable it was to get the weather stripping put on that door even though that was a total fiasco. I can tell that this room holds heat way better than it did last year. It's pretty much airtight now between the weather stripping on the door the blocking off of the exhaust fan. I put a board up behind the exhaust fan. Uh, I put some spray foam around the vehicle door and I, I really sealed up all the gaps that I could find in this room and I don't feel like it's drafty at all in here anymore. It's pretty windy today and I've, I've been in here I don't feel the draft. So well worth all that time and effort to uh, get this sealed up. See, before like you could actually feel the air just coming in here and I don't feel anything anywhere. No more air coming in here, no air coming in here. This is great. Yeah, there's there's zero draft here. So I think that's that's definitely helping a lot. Some icicles formed from the moisture from running the dryer earlier. By the cleaning area, it's 66 degrees. And over here in the studio, it's still 72. Feels very warm over here. This is working very well. Hundred and nine output at nine degrees. That's impressive. I really did not expect this to work that well at all. This is the first time I've had this on for several days and I'm finding that similar to the pellet stove this really does not like to change the temperature but it's pretty good at maintaining the temperature. It typically takes hours and hours to raise the temperature from like 55 to 65 down here but this is holding 72 even at 9 degrees out. 